believe it or not, Belize do experience hurricanes. And in this video, I show you how I recently prepared for one, Hurricane Nana. My name is Mickey. Keep watching. Hello everyone, Mickey here. Welcome to my channel where I draw lessons from life experience and I also share my experience of the places that I am working, which at the moment is Belize in Central America. So if you like to experience new things from the places that I will be working whilst learning life lessons, I'll please ask you to subscribe to my channel and come on this journey with me. Thank you very much. Let's get into the video. If you live in Belize from June to November, is the hurricane season so you will have to prepare for it i've been told that um tropical storm nana you kidding me nana n-a-n-a -N -A, nana is coming to us so yeah i've been preparing and i'm going to take you through how to prepare for um, a tropical storm or a hurricane even though um, we've been told that it's a tropical storm it is likely to hit um, category one hurricane so i'm preparing as if i am preparing for a hurricane so i'm going to put you through that so that if you get caught out in a hurricane you will know how to prepare for a hurricane so yeah come with me and let's learn during my preparation news actually came in that tropical storm nana had been upgraded to a category one hurricane even though my house had been deemed safe for category one hurricanes i still wasn't taking chances because the last time Belize got hit with a hurricane, this normal place turned into this. When it comes to preparing for hurricanes, there are certain things you have to put in place. One, you need to get information about what is happening. What we did was we tuned into the local radio, Love FM preferably, and we also have an app called Windy. I'm going to put a link in the video description. This app is very good for tracking hurricanes around the world. You can actually forecast it and it will give you a rough idea where the hurricane is going. You have to know where your shelters are in case it gets upgraded to category four or it gets upgraded to a level that your house will not be safe, then you can go to that place for shelter. You also need to make sure that you have at least three days of non-perishable goods, normally canned food. You need to also make sure that you have flashlights and batteries just in case the power goes off. If you're on medication, you need to make sure that you have enough medication to at least last you seven days. Also make sure that you have a bag packed ready just in case you have to leave your house. You can just grab it and you can go. Make sure your vehicle is also serviceable and it is at least a quarter full of fuel. When it comes to preparing your home, just make sure that you have a flood insurance that will cover damage from flood. And as I'm doing in this video, you lay sandbags at the entrance of your doors. Um, this will not stop water from totally entering your house, but it will stop the pressure of the flood coming in.
You also have to look around your house to make sure that items that can be flying around during the strong winds are removed or at least pinned down like I have done with this trampoline because I couldn't take them apart. You also need to seal your windows. We are lucky to have hurricane shutters that we use, but if you don't have these, you can use plywood to seal all your windows to stop the wind from blowing water through your windows. Also in the house, put valuable documents like passports in a safe place a bit high off the ground so that it doesn't get wet in case your house gets flooded. It's also advisable to put bags filled with sand in sinks to block back flush. When the water levels rise, sometimes what has gone down the drain start coming up and I've been told that this can stop that from flooding your house. Also get familiar with where you can turn off your main power just in case you have to do so when the winds start coming. These are some of the basic measures that you can put in place in preparation of a hurricane. There are extra measures people put in place. If you are watching and you've realized that I've left something else, please put it in the comment section and let me learn from it as well. Yeah, so my preparation is done. I can feel something is in the air. Um, I don't know if you can see the trees. You can see something is coming up. The rain has started coming down. So yeah, that's how I prepare for it. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Woo, I'm getting chewed. I'm getting chewed by ants. Yeah. That's my door prepared. So hopefully um, we will not get a lot of water coming in. Yeah. Later that same evening. Yep. Um, so it's 10.19. It was supposed to be um, Tropical Storm Nana, but now it's, it's been upgraded to Hurricane Nana. And I don't think it's going to go beyond um, Category 1. Uh, at the moment, it's just windy. It's just windy and a bit of drizzling going on. I don't know if you can hear it. So we are still tracking it. Um, I'm hoping we will be okay. We will be okay. Or oh, I hope so. So everyone is indoors, everyone is um, just waiting to see. I will get back to you later. Started raining. Started raining. Hopefully it's just going to be just rain and nothing else. But I doubt that. Um, we prepared for it. So let's see what happens. Phew! It was a relief to know that Hurricane Nana went south and only gave us minor rain. But one thing to keep in mind after a storm or a hurricane is to be careful when coming outside the next day as some wildlife may be displaced and may be harmful to you. Apart from that, we were safe and good. As I said earlier, if there are other tips that I left out, please leave it in the comment below. I hope this video was enjoyable and informative. Please do not forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next video. Peace.